Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream in this video i am going to review yet another very popular android 13 custom rom which goes by the name of rice droid for the oneplus 8 series devices so without wasting any more time let's get started so i have installed the rice droid android 13 rom on my oneplus 8t and this rom is available for all 8 series devices if i go into the about info section you can see that the android version is android 13 and the android security patch is of 5th november 2022 now let's see what all this rom provides. white and what not also since this is an oxygen os 11 base build you will need to be on oxygen os for installing this rom if you want to see an installation video check out the following video on my channel coming to the basic functionality all the basic functionality is working fine wifi is working bluetooth is working and calling is also working without any problems apart from that you only get a fingerprint to unlock functionality with this rom you also get the face unlock and app unlock features with this rom and if i talk about the launcher you get the sushi launcher which is better than the stock pixel launcher as it has some customization options available from the first look the rom feels stable and snappy just like it used to feel before moving on as i have already shown you this is an android 13 base build so you have the all the latest and best features of android 13 like more accent colors to choose from in the wallpaper and color section you get new music player widget and output picker and other features so all the latest android 13 features are there and working well all your banking and payment apps will just work fine as the rom passes the safety net test out of the box and if i show you the wideband security level that is also Eleven, so you can stream HD content on Netflix and other streaming sites. Moving on, you do get fully working Oxygen OS camera and gallery app, and all the modes of Oxygen OS camera are fully working without any issues. Talking about the battery, I didn't face any drains as such, but I will use this ROM for a week or so, and I will update you with all the details about the battery. So press the subscribe button to not miss those videos. Talking about gaming, you get full 90 FPS support in BGMI. As you can see in BGMI settings, you have the option to select 90 FPS, and you can play on 90 FPS also. The gaming performance looks very good initially. Comment down if you want me to do a full gaming review on this ROM. Now let's talk about the customization options that are available on this ROM. If we move on to settings, there is an option for personalization settings, and here we have all the different tabs. Under lock screen, we have ambient display settings, lock screen shortcuts, and other fingerprint customization. Under miscellaneous, we have game space, pocket mode, smart pixels, followed by unlock higher. FPS in games, Netflix spoof, and unlimited Google Photo storage. Under the notification, you get blue media artwork, heads up notification, blink flashlight for incoming calls, and clear all notification customization. Under quick settings, there are battery settings followed by a brightness slider. You also get some QS panel styles which are really good. Then we have some QS footer settings followed by QS style layout. Under the status bar, you get some status bar customization, battery styles, and brightness control. Clock and date settings with some icon settings like network. traffic indicator and old style signal icons etc next inside sound and vibration you get adaptive playback with in call vibration options and finally under ui we have font style monet settings signal and wifi icon styles followed by lock screen ui settings and some miscellaneous options and last but not the least at the bottom we get some device extra settings that have options like alert slider customization touch screen gestures high brightness mode fps overlay game mode and system vibrator sense wow those were a plethora of options and it took so much time to just go through each one of those settings so should you install this rom yes you should definitely try out this rom till now i have not faced any bugs on this rom and everything is just working smoothly and you also get full oxynos camera and gallery app support with this one thanks to the developer for pushing out so many updates comment down if you want me to make an installation video for this one also i'll make a lot of rom reviews and i'll be trying other android 13 roms subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos thank you for watching